Hello there, so are you looking for something to do towards the end of a season when you're getting bored or just in general looking for something a little bit different to do in 76? Well, then I have something for you today and it is a rare item run basically. So if you're looking for some mods that are super rare, if you're looking for some outfits that are super rare, then hopefully this route will help you out. But let's get into things. Okay, so we start the runoff over at the Watoga station and what you want to be looking for in Watoga is the Enclave plasma mods specifically the flamer one so you want to look at the two vendors here one being the train station vendor so check the mod section plenty of the enclave ones and then make your way over to the other side to the brotherhood a vendor bot uh, for the same thing the enclave plasma mods because they both can have them uh, extremely low drop chance for any of them particularly that flamer mod but if you get it then rng it's been good to you but you're over in Super Duper Mart, basically. Hi there, or the Vendor Bot Phoenix. And check the mods. And that's what Toga done. From here, we're going to head on over to Fort Defiance. And for Fort Defiance, we are particularly looking for the Asylum uniforms. In particular, the Red and Forest one. Extremely low drop chance, but the pink and yellow ones are also pretty good to pick up. Uh, but yeah, just make your way inside and head on over to the third level. Also, do keep in mind, if you do pick any of these up, uh, you will have to research your recent items list then. Uh, otherwise, it personally won't spawn for you again until you've cleared that list. So only pick up the one that you're really, really looking for, unless you want to uh, clear that item list in between your runs, basically. But once you're inside, assuming you finish the main quest stuff, of course, just head on over through the elevator up to the third floor. And there are three spots that they can spawn which is going to be immediately right in front of you as you load in on this bunk over here. Nothing there for me now, of course. Then over in the bathroom on the bench and then in this room on the middle bunk. So my RNG was absolutely phenomenal there, not a single one, but those are the three spots. From here, we're going to head on over to Charleston Station and this is for the two random encounters uh, that you can trigger. And you're looking for the uh, vendor bot, well, the responders uh, trader that spawns for particular selling that rare apparel. So there's two spots. If there is a player camp here, it can mess with that. So do keep that in mind. But as you spawn in, just turn around. This is where it will spawn. But to trigger it, you need to head on over to the bridge here and just run a little ways in. A lot of the time it'll just be enemies that spawn, but sometimes you'll get what you're looking for. So what did we get this time? We got super mutants, of course. So that's where that spawn is. So on a different server, this is who you want to be on the lookout for, that wandering responder bot trader. Uh, they will sell two pieces of apparel at a time. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you see a Brahmin and an iBot and a Protectron, then you have gotten the spawn that you are looking for. If you're wondering which uh, items to sort of keep an eye out for uh, they can spawn the stuff like the fisherman's overalls the gray fisherman's overalls the hunter's long coat the longshoreman outfit uh, some of the skiing outfits like the red and green one uh, the clean ranger outfit and a straight jacket clean a winter jacket and jeans so there's quite a few uh, to sort of keep an eye out for from this wandering dude and then for the second one just make your way past the station instead and it's pretty much the same thing. The barn over there is where the spawn will happen. But on the bridge, just run a little ways in. And you will trigger the spawn. And what did we get this time? Mongrels. So yeah, that's the two random spawns here that you can trigger. That uh, vendor can be either of those potentially. And now we'll make our way over to the next one. So. Next one is going to be Anchor Farm. And here we're also looking for a trader that can spawn. So once you've loaded in, just make your way over to the little campsite down the road here. Again, multiple things can spawn here, but you're looking for the scavenger trader uh, this time. 
we have a whole bunch of dead blood eagles. But this is where that trader can spawn and you want to get the one that is selling those apparel pieces. And on a different server, I did manage to find that scavenger trader. Now there will be multiple different scavenger traders. Some will just sell junk, some will just sell chems, some will just sell food. So you need to get your good RNG going there for one that's actually selling some of those outfits. Uh, so yeah, it will depend on which trader you do get, but you do want to be finding that scavenger trader. But from here, we're making our way over to Lady Janet's soft serve, similar to Charleston Station. There's two random spawns that can happen here, and one of them can potentially be uh, that responder trader that you're looking for. And at Lady Janet's itself, there will be a few feral ghouls around the place. So just clear them out quickly and then make our way the two spots and that's probably one more lingering about but one of the spawns is that way and one of them is this way so down this way it's got to make it past the broken bus here and it'll spawn on the side over there so what do we get this time another pack of mongrels so that's where this one can spawn basically what did I... Mr. Walker. Okay, well, we got Mr. Walker as well. Uh, but yeah, that's the first one, and then making our way back past Lady Janet's soft serve for the second random spawn location. Just up the road here, and you're looking for a skeleton in the middle, basically. Over here. And this is the spot for the second spawn, essentially. Of course, if nothing does spawn for you, then it's obviously just recently been triggered um, on the particular server that you're on. So we're not getting anything at the moment, but this is the area that you want to look out for for this spawn. Just remember the skeleton in the road. And that's the full run. Basically, then all you have to do is, of course, just server hop. You'll load in where you finished off. So we would load in by Lady Janet's. And of course, if you've killed stuff, then it'll be easy to know if you've just been in that server. Uh, if you load in by Watoga, you can also just do what I did in the beginning, which was shoot that uh, scorched. Uh, that's just sort of chilling there on the train tracks, so it's destroyed. So it just gives you a bit of idea if you've been there. But a lot of people do destroy that one, so you can always just kick one of the bottles. Uh, so you know that, you know, you've been messing around there and it's a server that you've just been into. So, you know, this dude, because they do spawn back pretty quickly as well. So you can do that or, you know, just kick one of these bottles around so you know that you've been here before. But there you have it. That's the rare item run that I've been doing you know, when you get bored at the end of a season or if you're just looking for something different to do or you're just trying to hunt down a lot of those rare pieces, then hopefully this will help you out. If you do have good luck with it, then let me know down in the comments. And hey, do me a favor. If you enjoyed, then hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stick around for more Fallout content. As always, a massive thank you to the channel members for their support. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.